starts to blow How you gonna keep this flame alive? Hannah Aldridge is 20 years old and lives in McGregor, Minnesota. She studies graphic design at Central Lakes College. Growing up, Hannah has always enjoyed playing and singing music. She also loves to paint. On her free time, you can catch her with her friends having a good laugh. Anyone that knows Hannah knows that she is filled with joy. From the outside, she might look like a typical student, but there is a lot more to her story. Since the day she could walk practically, she loved music. Um, her dad would play guitar all the time and she would go up and strum on the strings and play along with him. And she loved to dance when he was playing and singing. And she just found joy in singing. You know, Hannah, her middle name is Joy. And that's literally what it was like when she was little. He said that I wasn't allowed to play his guitar until I was able to fit my hand around the neck of the guitar. When I was growing up, I wanted so much to be able to do that. And I, I tried to stretch my hands out so I could be able to play. She was a full of life and music. We could tell as parents early on, I could tell early on that she had an ear for music. Hannah and her father's relationship grew stronger with time. As he would teach her, she would always listen. As she got older, she would sing at church and at worship time at home. Aside from her music, Hannah has always had a high level of energy. I had to always keep an eye on her because she was climbing on things. She was um, chasing her little brothers around. She. Then as her little brothers grew older, she took on kind of a little mother role and she would, you know, take care of them and she just loved them and cuddled them like a big sister would. One day in September, when Hannah was 17, she noticed something peculiar on her neck. I wasn't really sure what it was. Um, and I went to my mom and I asked her, um, what, what do we do? But it wasn't going anywhere. And so we decided to schedule a doctor's appointment. When we went in, our doctor took a look at it and right from the start, he, you could just tell on his face that something wasn't right. We had it checked out and sure enough, she was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. My family on, on my side has had a lot of cancer. I've lost uh, many, many family members from it. For my daughter to have it, Hannah, uh, it struck, a, it struck a, a chord. After that, it was a complete whirlwind. It was very scary as a parent, as a family. I remember coming home and telling the kids what was going on, and we were all in tears. We were scared at first, but Hannah just kind of seemed to be like, you know, I think this is gonna be okay. I think everybody's gonna be okay. The next weeks, we found out that she was gonna have to go through a minimum of three rounds of chemotherapy. I was very weak and I wasn't able to fight off any germs or any sickness. Over the next three months, we had to watch her be hooked up to these machines and that made her very sick. When Hannah was in the hospital, one of her friends dropped off a gift for her. And she realized in that moment, like, I have cancer. I'm in a hospital bed right now. And I just remember I, I, I held on to the gift and I just started crying. She's 17 years old. She's coming into her own. And she's like hit with this potentially terminal disease. And she's having to grow up really fast. I was really excited when I went to the hospital and saw that they had a music therapy program and that they would be working with Hannah to teach her how she could even write her own music and she wouldn't really have anything to do but she could play her music. There was an actual music specialist there and she would come in and show Hannah a couple different instruments. This woman helped her to put it to music and then record it.
to see her um, on chemo with no hair, pale, exhausted, and yet music gave her this outlet. Wishes could all come in all different kinds of scenarios. And so Hannah and her family were meeting all these board members and then they presented her with her, her equipment in this big surprise. She proceeded to say to everyone, would it be okay if I play? You know, I've, I've got a couple songs I'd love to sing for you. And I think that was really unique for everyone in the room because it gave us this glimpse of Hannah and her talent. What was Hannah's wish? So I asked for a recording studio setup. They gave me a beautiful Taylor guitar, a camera, microphone, equipment. It was just the whole thing. It was, it was such a wonderful, wonderful gift and I, I appreciate it so much. As time passed, Hannah started to become stronger each day. Not only physically, but psychologically as well. Taking it day by day as her and her family prayed for her. Finally the day that everyone has been waiting for. I go see the doctor and he said, great news. Like, there's no cancer. It's not in any of the lymph nodes. It's undetectable. And just to hear that, it was, it was a miracle. I just felt on my heart like, I know. I know I was gonna be okay. I remember walking out, we were walking out of that hallway and uh, we were just all looking at each other and saying, that's it, we're done, it's over. I just felt the Lord's hands around me the whole time, like he was holding me the whole time. I really think during that whole experience, I was really strengthened. I don't see as myself suffering, but I see as in a way that I was becoming stronger. Even at the beginning, Hannah never gave up. She kept her head high and her guitar higher. Music helped her get lost and forget about the pain. Hannah is a wonderful example about how you should never give up when defeat is near. Music was always a way to help me get through anything. It was kind of a piece that was brought. Hannah's future plans are to look for a graphic design job and continue music. Whatever happens next is up to fate. Inside.